What's up everyone, welcome back one more time, you know the deal, we play Historic Brawl. Today we are playing with Olivia Mobilize for War, this is Rakdos Madness, a very fun new commander from Shadows over Innistrad. We are going to play versus Giarog, this hand, I think we keep it, because we can ramp and then maybe we can Madness the Terminal Agony. When you play versus Giarog, it's always mostly about killing their commander before they get too much value from it. So we're just going to try to do that. We are playing with Olivia, 3 mana 3-3 three, three with Flying Dan. When we play a creature, we can discard a card to give it a plus 1, plus 1 counter and haste. So we're trying to discard things to Madness, which is great value for us because we discard a card that we can play. So several discard outlets. And then some creatures with madness. A lot of creatures with man madness thanks to the new set. So we discard those, but we actually gain the full value of that. Because when you discard something to madness, you're normally casting it for less mana cost than what it actually costs to cast a card. And then once we fill our graveyard, we're going to also reanimate them. We have Olivia, we have the Forge Fire Automaton and other ways to reanimate stuff. So here we can play Olivia opponent with an Ether Channeler. So this works like a graveyard value but aggro deck as well. And of course we are also playing vampires because most of the madness cards are vampires. So we have Champion of Dusk and Florians and those cards that are very very good on their own. They are not working with oh they take the Olivia with hostage taker which is which is perfect because now we can crippling fear them and we get back Olivia so we keep them under the hostage taker and here we are going to select we could select whatever I might as well just select vampires so perfect scenario for us two for one we get Olivia back so the idea is we play a creature, we discard something with madness to play something else. That creature gains haste. Wow. Opponent fires up the meat hook to kill Olivia. That's fine. We can recast. Ooh, that's great. That's great. That's great. So we get Olivia, follow that up with <laughs> Olivia 2. The Olivia Crimson Bride. So there's... Oh, wow. Th this is going to be a serious turn for us. So check this out, we play the Swamp, so we can play the Drana, discard Terminal Agony, oh my god, whoa, we should tap this properly, Arena, wow, Auto Tapper almost got us. So we tap like this, we have to play, oh, we could even play Mindstone, so full value. Let's do it like this, we tap to red, play Mindstone. And then we tap double black and colorless for Drana, which triggers Olivia. So here we discard the Terminal Agony. <laughs> Madness it for two. Kill Yarok. Holy yes. Exactly what we wanted to do. And now we get in <laughs> and pump the team. Ooh. Even if they kill something here, then Olivia comes in and ju she just finish this off. So that's over. That's great for them. The fetch land triggers a Tiova twice. And then we have Champion to draw many, many cards. We can discard it. Wow, we can discard it to Olivia. Right? Like, we play Olivia, Crimson Bride, discard Champion of Dusk. Recast it from, from the Olivia trigger and draw a million cards. What a turn! Check this out. Reanimate this. And we could even discard whatever he he opponent scoops. That's so, so sweet. That's a sweet deck. Yeah. Check this out, we refill our hand. So good. So, 
I made this AI card for this type of deck. Three mana, well, five mana enchantment that is called Blood Feast Ritual. Whenever a creature or opponent controls dies, put a feast counter on Blood Feast Ritual. Then remove three of these counters to put a plus one plus one counter on each vampire you control. So if we have three feast counters, the vampires eat from the feast so they get bigger. So very flavorful. And then at the beginning of our upkeep, if we have five vampires or more and 10 or more counters on Blood Feast Ritual, we win the game. So the ritual kind of completes. So very fun design, right? Like you can use your counters to grow the team, grow the vampires. But if you don't do that, if you just accrue or collect those counters on the Blood Feast Ritual, eventually you can get five vampires on the battlefield and trigger this on your app keep and win so i think this is a very good, cool design for a commander such as olivia which is very aggro-y but maybe in a commander multiplayer game you're not going to kill the entire table with a commander like olivia i mean only with herself so you need help like this maybe alternate wing cons things that allow you to kind of go wide so a very cool design let me know if you play with olivia if you like this card you can proxy it, you can play with your friends. If you want to, I can send you the PNG. But there you have it. Blood Feast Ritual Alternate Winken for the Olivia deck. Here we are for another round with Olivia mobilized for war. This is, I think it's OG Olivia, right? Like someone correct me if I'm wrong. This is the original Olivia. Most recently we have Olivia Crimson Bride, which we just we just played in our last game now we're playing versus tyvar Kelves. so this is Gulgari elves temple of malice scry automaton i think it's too early for that card we would like to kill their mana dorks all right so they don't play a mana dork but this we might need to kill it with collective brutality a very nice addition to Arena Collective Brutality, we can choose two modes, discard one card. Unfortunately, we cannot madness anything with the discard, but we can kill the Mimic, make them discard. And I guess we don't need the Vein. Would like to drain them for three, but that's all right. Okay, go for the throw. They just have an Elvish Visioner in hand and three lands. Okay. They drew a Rainwalker, which we can kill with Liliana. And Liliana is a fantastic discard outlet for us as well. So I guess we need double black here. So we bolt ourselves and take down Liliana. Well, that sucks. Yeah, very fast start for us. We would like to madness the Occultist. But I probably want to also run Olivia because we want to attack into their Tyvar. Ooh, Black Suns. Black Suns? I guess we could both play the Occultist and kill their token, right? Because we can Madness the Occultist and X1 the token. So, let's first discard. They discard as well. We madness in the occultist. Oh, madness is such a cool mechanic. And for one, we can kill the token, which is a mana dork for them. And now we want to kill Tiber at all costs. What did I do to you? Join me in battle. Ooh, striker. Remove X counter. Wow, that's some tactics versus us. Remove X counter. So, Fiery Temper is a nice draw. We could. Maybe we should wait one turn. Oh, we could also fire up Den of the Bugbear. If we, if we fire up Den of the Bugbear, then. We can attack onto Tyber. They would trade for one of our creatures. Maybe it makes sense. Hmm. It's close, because otherwise we have three three mana spells. 
and I guess I just want to do this, right? Like, activate Dan. Yes, sir. All at Tiber. Because they have so much mana otherwise. And we also attack a Tiber with a token. Let's see how they block. Yeah, they go for the Dan. But that has Trample. Oh, they go for the Occultist. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Because they essentially lose two mana by losing the two creatures. He need to get their mana on check. Tosky. Ooh, land is great. Exactly what we needed. Because now we can double spell. Yeah. Perfect. So Olivia plus kill Tiber. Tiber now costs them six. We have good blocks for Tosky. They go to five lands. Mm, attack with both. So we block here. I guess we block here and trade there. Fine trade by me. Point of draws. And a Shaper Sanctuary. That's okay. We don't care too much at this point about that. So play Drana. And I figure we can give her haste. Should we attack? I mean, the counter, it's better than a land here, but do we attack? I don't think so, because then they have two attacks. And they draw a card, so we could wait for a little bit. We are not under pressure at all. Do they have something to kill our creatures? That would be... Surprising. No, they don't, but they have six lands, so Tiber is back on the menu. But our two flyers looking very strong versus their Tiber. I just a Leaf Crown Visionary. Okay, hopefully they don't draw too many elves. Ritual. Not very good. So I guess we fire Den. The token from the den also gets pumped by Olivia if we discard the ritual. I think so. So let's go to attacks. And I guess we just attack with den and maybe it's time to be more aggressive. Probably Drana. Yeah. So here we can... Oh, maybe... Do we discard the ritual? Do we need it? Let's discard it. Wow, they take it all. Okay. But <laughs> they have a very good three creature attack on us, but I don't think they can afford to attack with everything. Because they are going to die on the crackback thanks to our creature then. So I guess they can attack with Toski and another creature. Wow, they go all, all in. But I. I think they're dead. We have 10, 13, 15, exactly. I think we have Exaxis. We even have the Socialite. Ooh. No, but that is not it. That's not lethal. We need the Den, and we need the Den to put the Goblin. I am the true MVP. And in this way, we have lethal. Attack their face, grow it. Continue. Oh, it's more. Oh my god, Drana. <laughs> I forgot. It was more than lethal. This egg is this egg is a blast. The deck is nowhere near top the top of the mountain in power level, but this is so much fun. Madness is such a fun mechanic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment. And we will see each other on a future video, as usual.